Why, hello there, and thank you for watching 10 Minutes Earlier. You are immediately in a group of very, very cool people because you decided to hit play on this video. This week we're talking about I Can Do That. Oh, you know, a lot of times kids think that they can't do things mm -hmm. that grown-ups can do, but we are here to say that is just not true. It ain't true. In fact, today, I was outside, and... I was with um, some of the littler kids in our family, and they pulled something out, and they were able to do this one thing, and I couldn't do it. It was it was embarrassing. They pulled I, out a comb and they combed their hair. <laughs> that was mean. That was oh, low. Low that blow. Was a good one. That was low. No, no. You'll see what it is, and um, for real, I could not do it, and I wasn't faking or anything like that. I couldn't do it. <laughs> but they're all just passing around. They can do it. Go ahead and roll the tape. Hey guys, it's me Ryan. I found some something today that all my kids can do that I can't do. So I wanted to show you. Maggie, Maggie you want to try? try? Can you blow in it for me? Let me do it. Hey Maggie, sit down and do it. I, I would do it. Right, she doesn't want to do it. There's Avery. Let me do it. Let me do it. Alright. Let, let Audrey do it. That was good, Audrey. Let William do it. I'm not kidding. I cannot do this. can't do it. Watch Everyone this. else can do it but me. I can do it. Okay, well that's not that big a deal. There's tons of people that can't play a trumpet. It took me like months to figure out how to be able to blow a trumpet. You have to like, like, be like an elephant. Like, <laughs> that was my elephant mm -hmm. impression. I worked on that were, All for the kids years. were doing it. And they were all... All the kids were doing it. Anyway. Yeah, they were blowing a trumpet. Can, kids these days. Case in point, my kids were doing something that I could not I can do. do. And they're kids and he's an adult. So, you know. It goes to show you, being an adult isn't, oh, it's not all it's cracked it, up. No, right? it's not. There's bills and just boring stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Anyway, but kids can do things that sometimes adults can't even do. And in the kingdom of God, there's absolutely nothing that a kid can't do that a parent could do. Like, um, you can get saved. I mean, absolutely. You don't have to, I mean, you, well, let's be honest here. Most kids think that their parents are saved, so they're saved. Yeah, you know, the thing that, we talked a little bit about this yesterday, but kids or even people that just get saved, they don't have a baby spirit. No. They have no. a full-size, they have a full-size Jesus inside of them. Just like me or him. Right. So, a lot of That's kids it. think that since their parents take them to church every week, since their parents are saved, then they're saved. I just get in under my parents. <laughs> Hello, I'm with them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Newsflash. Sorry, it do it doesn't work like that. It's, no, it it doesn't work like doesn't that, work and it's like an that. easy trap to fall into. Yeah, very easy. I've heard so many kids tell me that. Well, my parents are saved, and so I go to church every week. Th that's the those are th those are the two biggest things that kids say in our in our experience. They're like mm -hmm. they're either like, well, I go to church every week, or my parents are saved. One of those two, but. The thing is, those don't work whenever, you know, it, we're trying to get into heaven or if you're trying to have a relationship with Jesus. It doesn't work like that. You can't G, G, you can't show up and be like, hey, Jesus, I want to talk to you. And I can talk to you because my parents are saved and all that. Just get saved. 
Yeah. There's so many blessings to it. Kids seem to kind of. Some kids are. I've even seen been like kind of afraid of getting saved for some reason. I don't know why. It's just like any other. It's like when you start going to school or something like that. You just do it. When you know when you when you're born, you know you just you know eventually you get saved. Just, yeah, and you know a lot of a lot of kids don't don't really realize that they even need to get saved. Yeah, that's true. They don't, they don't even really realize they need to. But if you get saved, I mean, there's just like so much cool stuff you can do. I mean, you can you can talk with God. I mean, you can hang out in his presence. You, I mean, you just, you have so many benefits. David talked about in the Bible when he says, you know, blessed be God who daily loadeth us up with benefits. Yeah, and, you know, getting saved is the first part of everything else in your relationship with God. You know, God wants to be, he wants to be our best friend. He wants to be somebody that we talk to continually, somebody that we go to when we have something wrong. God wants to be the, the person that we go to. And it's amazing that he made it so we could have that type of relationship with him. I mean, with God, the guy who made everything. Yeah. He wants to talk to you. Did you have a scripture verse for Yes, today? I did have a scripture verse. This is basically... Um, it's, well, it's in the Bible, so it's good. It's <laughs> Romans chapter 10, verse 9. It says, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So, you know, that verse really shows it's, that it's not that hard to get saved. No, just get saved, give your life to Jesus, and, you know, it's good an, stuff happens. It's an issue of your heart. It is. Most people just don't want to... Like, you know how sometimes, like, your parents will have a boss and they don't really like their boss. Sometimes you might hear them talk about that. Or, um, you know, maybe you don't want to do what your parents say. You know, it's 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 sort of like that with Jesus, except, you know, you just kind of submit. People don't want to submit to stuff. But there's so much good stuff that happens. And it's, that, that's what I, I just want to just reiterate that. It's not hard. It's not hard at all. I mean, it, it just said it right here in the scripture verse. All you got to do is say that Jesus is Lord, profess him with your mouth, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, say, Jesus, I give you my life, and you're saved. I tell you what, Taylor, let's do this. Why don't we help them out? If you want to get saved, if you believe Jesus is God, and if you want to ask him to come into your heart and have a relationship with him, Taylor's going to say a prayer. I'm going to repeat after him. Taylor's going to say it, and then you say it along with me after Taylor says it. If you want to get saved, if you want to ask Jesus into your heart, just follow us in this. Say this prayer along with us. Okay, here we go. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I love you. I love you. I know that I have sinned. I know that I've sinned. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe you're the Son of God. I believe you're the Son of God. I thank you for forgiving me and receiving me today. I thank you for forgiving me and receiving me today. I thank you that I'm saved. I thank you that I'm saved. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you just did that, you are now one of God's children. Yes, that's right. You can now say that God is your daddy. They'd be like, hey, who's your daddy? Well, my daddy is the creator that made every single thing in existence. Boom. Who's your daddy? Yeah, you can do that now. Because God, God's your daddy. If you just did that, you need to go whip out a Bible and go spend some time with God. It's going to be amazing. And they need to tell somebody. Tell somebody about it. Tell, tell your parents, tell your brother, your sister, Pastor. your best friend. If you don't have anyone to tell, tell your hamster. Okay? Just tell, tell somebody. Tell, tell somebody. I mean, it's the, you just did the single most important thing of your life. You realize that? The most important thing you could ever possibly do. More important than you getting married, becoming a millionaire, all that. You just, just happen. And the thing about that is it's eternal. It's eternal. That's forever. You are yeah, now, forever. you are now forever saved. You are now a member of God's kingdom. He's going to keep you and bless you. And you're just going to keep seeking him and you're going to live with him forever now. You don't have a thing to worry about. That's awesome. It is awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and, and pray one more time for their day. For our day. Well, and yeah. ask God to help us throughout the day. God, we just pray right now that you will just help us throughout this day. God, I pray that you will just bring people across our path that you want us to run into. God, I just ask right now that you will protect us no matter where we go, no matter what happens. Protect us, God. We pray that you will just help us in everything we come across. God, we love you. We thank you for everything. In Jesus' name, amen.
Amen. Thank you for watching 10 Minutes Earlier today. If you haven't already, click subscribe so you can watch new episodes every day. Like the Facebook page so you can hang out with us anytime you want. And parents, if you really like this and you think there's kids that might be connected to your kids somehow through the internet and you want them to get saved, go ahead and share this on your Facebook. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. 10 Minutes Earlier.